Mr. Berry with a special edition of our weekly uh, math meeting. Uh, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a protractor that you can use at home. First thing I'm going to do is be starting with my circle shape. I'm going to trace around the outside of my circle just like I did when I created that right angle tool. Then I'm going to go ahead and cut out my circular shape because I'm going to need just this circle for my protractor. Now this protractor will be able to measure, because it's a circle, all 360 degrees, which is a really nice feature. First thing I'm going to do with my circle, just like I did with my right angle tool, is I'm going to fold it into that taco shape, that half circle, and then I'm going to use a my pencil or my pen, even my, my straight edge, and on that crease line that I just created by folding it into a taco, I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to label the right side of my line 0, the left side 180. That's going to be important in identifying my angles later on. I'm going to take my taco, fold my taco in half. Now that my taco is now folded in half, it looks like a giant piece of pie, and it is that right angle that we talked about earlier. Because we know it's a right angle, I know that my angle up at the top is now going to measure 90 degrees. So I'm going to label that one 90. And the bottom one, I can go ahead and actually label 270. I'm going to use my straight edge just to make this line nice and straight so that later on I'll be able to read the angle. The last folds that I'm going to make are going to give me some intermediate angles. So I'm going to take this shape and I'm going to fold this into thirds. Now this might take a little bit of practice, so before you squeeze it down and make that a really tight fold, you'll want to make sure that it's lined up and in thirds. And this is going to allow me to count by thirties all the way around my triangle or a circle until I get to 360 degrees. So starting at zero, counting by threes, I have three, six, 90, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33. Now, I counted by threes, but if I multiply those threes by 10, I have the rest of my angles all the way around this circle. I'll use my straight edge very quickly to go ahead and mark those angles. Always making sure I'm crossing through that center point of my circle. And now I've created a protractor. The problem with this protractor as it is right now is it's going to be really hard when I lay it over the paper to see through it. So our solution to that is just to take a little bit of oil. We're going to place a couple drops of oil onto our protractor. Use your fingers. Rub that oil in. It's going to make your paper translucent. That means you're going to be able to see light through it. You're going to take their paper then and rub it against maybe an extra sheet of paper or two to get all that extra oil off. And the next time you use it on your worksheet, not only will the extra oil be off, but you'll actually be able to read through the paper and see an angle.